the wave dash the best mechanic in all of rocket league when it comes to recovering on low boost and gaining speed ladies and gentlemen if you want to be able to do something like this in rocket league and get to supersonic sideways backwards doesn't matter without using a shred of boost and be able to recover and do fancy maneuvers like this you've come to the right video because with my 9,000 hours of experience in the game i'm ready to teach you exactly how to wave dash how to perfect it and how to practice it so ladies and gentlemen let's get straight into this video all right guys so for the wave dash it's actually a very simple mechanic i'm gonna break it down for you guys very slowly it just takes a little practice and timing so we're gonna start with the most difficult part pressing the jump button just kidding it's very simple just press the jump button so at this point what we're gonna do and i need to break this down for you guys because this is very important and i'm gonna reference this later in the video the longer you hold the jump button for the higher you jump so with a wave dash we want to press the x button as fast as we can and jump as low as we can to the ground now obviously the a button if you're on xbox so we want to jump very low to the ground just like that press it as fast as you can just jump press it as fast as you can stay low to the ground once we have done that ladies and gentlemen all we're gonna do is tilt our car in the opposite direction of where we want to go now that sounds complicated but trust me it's very easy if i want to go forward i'm going to tilt my car like this backwards if i want to go backwards i'm going to tilt forward and land on my front wheels so you essentially want to land on the wheels that you do not want to go in that direction of once you have gotten that down the jump and the leaning all you have to do at that point is press the flip button so the second that our back wheels hit the ground just like this i'm going to press the front flip button which is essentially moving my joystick forward and flipping using my second jump so again it's jump lean back jump lean back jump lean back push forward jump okay jump lean back push forward jump jump lean back push forward jump say it with me jump lean back push forward jump all right guys get that in your head get that repetition down and just practice it if you're struggling start with the basics just do a jump nice and low then do a jump and lean back make sure you're hitting your back wheels and then we're going to jump lean back push forward now i'm going to show you guys in a replay exactly what that looks like at five percent speed so you can really understand all right guys this is what it looks like at five percent speed so here we go so I jump, I lean back, you guys see me starting to lean back here, right as my back wheels will hit the ground here, I flip, and there we go, I get that speed going forward. Now let's go back and I'll show you guys what it looks like from the side angle. I jump, I lean back just like that. And right as my back wheels hit the ground, or just before, doesn't matter. Right as they hit the ground, boom, I flip forward. And that allows me to get that acceleration going forward. So now once you understand that concept and how to wave dash, you can apply that logic in any direction. So if I want to go backwards, I can. It's as simple as that. I can go backwards just like that. Now the thing is, if you want to be able to chain these wave dashes together and do something that looks along the lines of this, it's very simple. All you have to do is do a wave dash and the second that you land after you flip, just press the X button again and instantly go back in the air. So flip, jump, flip, jump, flip, jump, flip, jump. That's all it is. And again, we can apply this in any direction, forward or back. Now you might ask yourself, well, I'm trying to do it going sideways, but every time I go sideways, I literally just stop. I have no momentum. The reason for that, ladies and gentlemen, the reason for that is because you're not holding the drift button. You want to hold the drift button so your momentum carries you all the way through. Does that make sense? If we're holding the power slider drift button, every time we wave dash to the side, I just drift along with my momentum. Now, if we chain these together, same concept. Now we're going sideways. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. You guys see, you can use wave dashes in so many ways. You can even wave dash on the ceiling to gain speed. So say I'm taking this ball up the ceiling really quick and I want to gain speed going forward. I can wave dash and I go forward and I still have my foot. So you can use wave dashes in so many ways. You can even wave dash on the wall just like this to gain a bunch of speed with no boost. 
but I'll show you guys in a different tutorial video how to do that one. And now that you guys understand how to do it, it's just a matter of practice. Good luck, everyone. I hope you the best of luck on the pitch. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. I'll make sure to read it. And if you guys think I deserved it, please consider hitting that like button. I'm trying to grow my pages as much as I can in my channels, guys. So please hit the like button. And if you're enjoying the content as well, hit that subscription button or follow button. I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Don't levitate, going up, elevate, watch me demonstrate, on time, never late, I grind, celebrate, no pump fake, hesitate, I have been scoring every day, champagne, Perrier, since 9-3, been in the box, now I'm stepping up to home, like straight out the sandlot, now I'm plotting on the globe, 